Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss the topic of threads in operating system. So, if you have uh, studied Java, then in the Java we have multi-threading, and the same advantages of threads are also applicable here. So, what is a thread? A thread is a basic unit of CPU utilization that comprises of a thread ID, program counter, register set, and stack. Typically, we say that a process is a heavyweight, and threads are lightweight. So, uh, we also we always say that processes are heavyweight. Now, by the meaning of heavyweight, we means they consumes lot more resources than compared to a thread and threads are lightweight so there are two different kinds of uh, threading processes one is single and another is multi threaded process traditionally process has a single thread of control and it is known as single threaded process and if a process has multiple threads of control then it is called as multi threaded process and that multi threaded process can be used to perform multiple tasks at a time so we can uh, show those with the help of diagram This is the single threaded process. In this we have some of the some of the properties of a process like the code of the process, data, then we have stack, registers, and lots many things that are present in any process. And if this process is handled by a single thread, then it is single thread of process. So suppose this is the thread. Since there is only a one thread, it is a single threaded process. But if, for example, this single threaded process is converted into a multi threaded process that means the process this process is now controlled by <coughs> multiple threads in that case the resources are also shared by all the threads so for <coughs> so for each of the thread thread depending on the type of resources it needs these resources are shared so for example if one thread is requiring only the code along with register and stack then this thread will get access to these resources similarly if another thread is requiring data register and stack then this thread will get access to these in this you can see that the register and stack resources are shared Again, also if one of the thread require files, register only, then these resources are also shared. So in this for each section we have different <laughs> thread. So this is your multiple or the multi-threaded process. Now what is the benefit of this multiple or the multi-threaded process is it can be used to run can be used to run several tasks at a single point of time. <coughs> so that is your multi-threaded process. Now threads also play a vital role in the RPC that is remote procedural call. This is your remote procedure call. 
रिमोट प्रोसीजर कॉल इज यूज टू कॉल अ फंक्शन ऑफ सम अनदर प्रोग्राम थ्रेड्स कैन ऑल्सो बी यूज फॉर दिस बिकॉज थ्रेड्स कैन बी यूज फॉर इंटर प्रोसेस कम्युनिकेशन सो थ्रेड्स कैन बी यूज फॉर इंटर प्रोसेस कम्युनिकेशन दैट इज हाउ थ्रेड्स प्ले अ इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल इन आर पी सी विद द हेल्प ऑफ इंटर प्रोसेस कम्युनिकेशन नाउ वी विल सी सम ऑफ द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ द मल्टी थ्रेडिड प्रोग्रामिंग द फर्स्ट बेनिफिट इज रिस्पॉन्सिवनेस सिंस द मल्टी थ्रेडिंग इज एन इंट्रेक्टिव एप्लीकेशन एंड इट अलाउज अ प्रोग्राम टू कंटिन्यू रनिंग इवन इफ अ पार्ट ऑफ इट इज ब्लॉक्ड सो दैट इंक्रीजेज द रिस्पॉन्सिवनेस टू द यूजर फॉर एग्जाम्पल सपोज दिस पर्टिकुलर सेक्शन इज नॉट रिस्पॉन्डिंग then instead of entire process not responding these two sections can respond to the user that give more responsiveness to the user so that is your responsiveness then we have resource sharing as we have seen here threads share the memory and the resources of the process so whatever memory the process has that memory is shared by the user uh, by the thread and the resources are also shared by the thread now the benefit of sharing code and data is that it allows an application to have several different threads of activity within the same address space so that is what we have seen here three different threads are running in the same address space so by running in the same address space the inter process or inter thread communication is also cheap then the third benefit is the economy economy means allocating memory and resources for a process creation is costly now since threads are created by a process and share its resources also so it is most economical then instead of creating a process for every request we can create a thread for that particular request so that gives benefit to the economical point of view to the system then the final benefit is utilization of multi processor architecture the benefit of multi threading can be greatly increased in the multi processor architecture in a way that threads may run parallelly on different processors so if we have different different processors in multi processing system then the threads can be made to run concurrently on different processors so that increases the concurrency because a single thread process can only run on one cpu no matter how many threads are available or how many processes are available so we are actually utilizing the multi processor architecture by using multi threaded programming so these are the benefits i have written important points of this uh, benefits of the th multi threaded programming you can note it down from here now let's move to the multi threading models threads can be of two types user thread and kernel thread user level threads are supported above the kernel and managed without kernel support whereas the kernel threads are supported and managed directly by the os there are different models for the mapping of a user level thread to the multi level thread so we are going to discuss each of this level each of this model the first model is the many to one in this the mapping is done between many user level threads to one kernel level thread so it is shown like this so we have many user level threads here and these user level threads are mapped to a single kernel thread So this is the kernel thread and these are user threads So this is many user level many user threads and one kernel thread Then we have one to one model 
one to one model says the mapping is done between each user thread and kernel thread so if we have these four user threads then for each of these four thread we will have one kernel thread that is the one to one model then we have the many to many model it multiplexes many user level threads to smaller or equal number of kernel kernel threads so in this if we can we have this four user threads then we can have either four or less than four kernel threads so for example we have three kernel threads here then there is a multiplexing kind of thing like this in which these four user level threads are managed by this three kernel level threads so that is your many to many model so this is about the threading concept of operating system in which we have seen different kinds of multi threading models many to one one to one many to many model and also we have seen the benefits of multi threading and single and multi threaded process so you can note the points from this uh, video thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my youtube channel for more tutorials thank you